Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I wanted to formally introduce myself. My name is Ash and I run a business called Lemons Loot in Kingston, Ontario. I'm an e-commerce vintage and secondhand seller who dabbles mostly in Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, and I'm dipping my toes into the world of max sold auctions. If you've been coming to my channel, you'll see I have a bunch of shorts up and a couple Instagram lives, but I wanted to start making long form content to kind of give you guys an in behind the scenes look at my business and what I do on a day to day. I'm not really sure what this channel is going to look like or the content that I'm going to be bringing to you because this is all new for this business of mine. I previously had done videos for my garden, which seems a little bit more natural, um, but doing it for my business is a little bit it's a little bit scary um, to put yourself on the internet and then reflect um, as a personality that's tied to a business that is your full income and I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone and do more of these videos because I feel that I really enjoy consuming this content and also I think it will really give you guys a good perspective of what goes on in my day-to-day -day life the kind of things that I think about, um, my processes, some advice that I can share, and just the general information that comes with being in this space. So the first video that I filmed for you guys is going to be, I guess, a very true reflection of what my space looks like and what that entails having. I do run my business out of my home, um, so I don't have a storage facility or like a brick and mortar type location or a, like a pop-up um, antique market space or anything like that. Occasionally I have dabbled in that, but for the most part, I'm here at home. So without further ado, I want to show you kind of behind the scenes, um, parts of my business that maybe you haven't seen before and hopefully you guys enjoy this content. So the area is kind of split into three different sections, maybe about four. So this section here is what you guys will be growing to be familiar with. Um, this here is my space. Um, so I have all of my shelves here. It's a beautiful built-in that we did um, with Billy bookcases from Ikea with all of my amazing loot. I have a small home gym because as you know, working from home, you're not out as much. I do a lot of computer work, so having some fitness gear was a must have. And I do keep it in this space, so I'm reminded to actually use it. We still have some construction to do, so we have to trim out the hearth for the fireplace. It's not a real one, it's just a plug-in, but it looks so pretty. We also use this space to relax as well. So there's a couple um, comforts of, you know, a living room space with having the TV. I often am watching YouTube um, while I'm working. Then it kind of goes into my home office section. So I have um, two printers, one for my documents, and then I have my thermal down there. Some need to have supplies, all of my binders for tracking garbage, work in progress, computer. Of course we have Rocco, tons of wires, <laughs> the realistic look. He is my shop buddy, hey? You'll see lots of him, he always likes to be around. We obviously have an awesome vintage couch here that I got on Marketplace for 30 bucks. I think it really works well in this space. We haven't done um, a rug or anything that might come soon. The rug that we did have down here just doesn't really match the space. Typically too, I have items up here on the shelf, um, but I'm waiting for a very special delivery that is gonna go up there. And I just worked the items that were normally there into my space. And then here I have a coffee table. Sometimes I use my laptop down here but realistically, it's a blanket box so we can get extra cozy. My husband likes to do work down here with me as well. He His is more of a hobby versus um, something that makes some money at this point, although he has gone into a couple competitions as well as um, toyed with the ideas of helping people out um, because a lot of people do paint these miniatures and sell them. 
So to kind of give you an idea, there's some really cool ones on this shelf. And it's nice having this space down here to share because when he wants to relax in the evening and or on the weekends and do some hobby stuff, I'm able to still process orders and not feel guilty if I maybe took time off during the week. We are still in a construction zone down here, so you can kind of see we have the rest of our flooring. Um, this was the rug, don't mind it. It's all just, you know, tied up for the moment. We are putting in a half bathroom down here just so we have facilities on both floors. And then it kind of gets in to the craziness of my extra storage and of all of my boxes. So I just have assorted material here that I need to process. I have a lot of extra things. Um, this big box is a sink for the bathroom. So a couple of it's home stuff, most of it's business. I have more packaging material here and then the majority of it is here. And this is kind of what I mean about having things be really intense because maybe I don't need all of these boxes and I am going to work on downsizing them a bit. But when you collect boxes, there's even more down here. That's actually my accounting. So that's filled with binders. But what I was going to say is when you have um, different sources you get boxes from, I find sometimes I just take them all. I do recycle a lot of them or pass them on if I can't use them. Quite often we have people moving in our city because we are very like student geared. Um, so a lot of the times I downsize. But for the most part, <laughs> having a whole space for just packaging material is pretty intense. You might be thinking that is a lot to manage in one space. And I wish I could say that was everything. I have more, so let me show you that. This is what eventually will be our nursery. Um, however, we're just not at that stage yet. And of course I needed the space. So I am absolutely filled with packaging material. I get this all secondhand, as I mentioned with the boxes. And it really goes to show that you also need such a big space and storage solution if you're doing this kind of packaging accumulation. Um, it doesn't come all nice in boxes where you can inflate um, and it doesn't come in nice boxes all flat a lot of the times. The paper is already kind of scrunched up, which adds mass to the storage. My living room. Everyone always talks about how you know, you want all this inventory and it is really great if you, you know, <laughs> want to scale your business, but these are the realities of having this much inventory. This is our prep for our max sold. Sorry about my squeaky floors. And we can't even get to our couch right now with how many things we have and the extra boxes we have for packing up orders. It gets really intense when you're doing an auction. Even our coffee table is uh, covered in items there. And then when you get over to the side here as well, this is kind of my area that I use for taking photos of new items. So these are items I haven't even processed yet. Um, so it really gives an idea of doing things in different layers and not really having much of your own personal space. So this is definitely one area of my home that overwhelms me. Um, and thankfully these things should be gone by next weekend, um, depending when I post this, the weekend after Valentine's Day. But yeah, realities of reselling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at my business, what goes on kind of in my storage section, in my shop section, in the spare room, in my living room. It can really be a lot. A lot of people think that when they go into this business um, that it doesn't take a whole lot. It's just going to the stores, buying items, flipping them, and it's just that easy. And there is a lot more layers that come with this business. And I think I'm really excited to start sharing those layers and start showing kind of what it entails because I think it's really important to understand maybe 
why our price points are what they are, how to make this a sustainable business, how to make this your full-time business like I do, and just overall understand the behind the scenes of what we do here as sellers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It might have been a little awkward. Um, we'll get into the swing of things and I hope you come back for more. If there's something you would love to see, you can always drop it in the comments or follow me on social media to get more content and be updated about what's going on in real time. Awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye.